Hello guys, it's me again, Mike Padua, back to our latest weather analysis, and we are now in the middle of the first week of July. Today is Wednesday, and this is valid until, until Friday, July 3 to 5, 2024. This is our English version, brought to you by Typhoon 2000 and Naga College Foundation. But before we begin, we'd like to uh, thank our partners, Aboitis Power, Bank of the Philippine Islands Sustainable with you. If you're interested, just click on the link up here. Or if you're watching via Facebook, visit the description page for more details regarding BPI Sustainable with you. And also one of the uh, best hotels in uh, the Bicol region and Naga City, Avenue Plaza Hotel. The local government of Naga City, headed by our Honorable Mayor Nelson Legacion and our Honorable Congressman of the 3rd District of Kamagani Sur, Congressman Gabi Bordad. And let's start our update. Here's the latest uh, uh, fast animation from the University of Wisconsin Tropical Cyclone page. And uh, we have a uh, another uh, surface trough, or we can call this a tropical wave since it is elongated more from north to south orientation. And this is a cluster of thunderstorms which will again bring some rain showers and thunderstorms across our country yesterday uh, during the whole afternoon and evening we experienced some um, uh, uh, back-to-back thunderstorms here in the Bicol region and other portions of the country right now it has uh, moved out into the west philippine sea and uh, it's still uh, quiet across the uh, western pacific without any tropical cyclone formation due to unfavorable upper level conditions which is inhibiting uh, more formation at this time of the year. And this is common when we have an ending uh, El Nino climate. And as we speak, it's now the beginning of the start of the development of La Nina, which is expected to mature sometime October and November, and the effects will, uh, will be expected during those months. Okay, beginning November until May of 2025, we expect above average rainfall in our country and so far it remains quiet here across our basin but as we take a look at the other side of the globe we have another uh, we have an early uh, season uh, cyclone this is a hurricane a category 5 the strongest ever recorded since uh, record keeping uh, began uh, way back in the 1800s and uh, this is quite unusual Supposedly, uh, this kind of Category 5 hurricanes appear during uh, August and September, but it's still early in the season, and it formed and uh, passed over Central and Southern Caribbean, and it's now uh, moving closer to the southern coastal areas of Jamaica. So winds has weakened from 260 down to uh, 230, but it's expected to uh, pass over to the south of uh, Jamaica or along the southern coastline and we expect uh, uh, dangerous winds of more than uh, 100 kilometers per hour okay hurricane force winds and uh, this system might weaken as it moves towards the western part of the Caribbean Sea and it's likely to make landfall over the Yucatan Peninsula in uh, the next few days and uh, this is the uh, likely uh, landfall of this uh, powerful system so there you go that's the uh, uh, scenario on the other side of the globe but here in the basin it remains quiet but we expect uh, sometime july 15 onwards until the end of the month there might be a tropical cycle formation but uh, we're still seeing some fluctuating of the models when it comes to formation and here's the uh, zoom in southern animation for the philippine islands so right now we are experiencing some good weather across the Bicol region after those uh, uh, six hours of uh, rainfall okay at least six hours across the uh, uh, Bicol region and other parts of the country but right now there are still some thunderstorms over Luzon Visayas and Mindanao later and we have here another uh, tropical wave approaching and it's likely to bring rain showers and thunderstorms across the country within the next uh, couple of days so uh, here's the uh, wind and pressure forecast so far 
uh, it remains uh, quiet when it comes to the winds, variable winds, calm conditions across the country, except for the eastern sections of uh, Luzon and Visayas where a possibility of easterly wind flow will still prevail as the tropical wave is forecast to pass over uh, southern Luzon, Bicol included, so expect more thunderstorms in store every afternoon until uh, uh, the weekend, okay? So it's a daily occurrence uh, since we are uh, moving into the heart of the wet or rainy season. And if we take a look now at the uh, rainfall forecast, so this is today, this afternoon, we expect uh, another round of thunderstorms in various sections of Luzon, Visayas, and Mindanao. And uh, by tomorrow afternoon, Thursday, we expect another round of uh, isolated rain showers and thunderstorms across our country, as well as on Friday and on uh, Saturday. So it's a daily occurrence since, uh, like I said, we are into the midst of the wet season. Now for the rainfall accumulation forecast, almost uh, the rest of the country will experience some thunderstorms. And this is the rainfall accumulation forecast for a country. It's uh, totally orange to red. Okay, and uh, for the uh, uh, wave forecast, nothing unusual. Today until Saturday, we expect wave heights of uh, up to 1 meter over the East Philippine Sea. And uh, calm conditions up to uh, uh, less than 0.5 meters over the inland waters of the Philippine Islands. And over the West Philippine Sea, less than 1 meter will also be expected. So it's uh, still good for fishing and uh, sea travel. And here's the uh, uh, American model uh, ensemble or forecast when it comes to tropical cyclone formation. There's still nothing, although we have here uh, two uh, forecasts from the uh, American model, but it's not expected still, remains uncertain. So uh, we will wait and see. And the uh, UK model also suggests on June, no, July 6, another uh, system here. But that's it, nothing uh, unusual. Here's the uh, 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 US Navy model. So far, it's all clear until uh, July uh, 15. And for the uh, Global Topics Hazards Outlook from the Climate Prediction Center of NOAA, valid for the next two to three weeks, wherein the third week is highly uncertain, while the second week is around 50% uh, accurate, okay? Uh, around uh, 50% probability. So on week two, valid July 10 to July 16, the Philippine Islands from the West Philippine Sea up to the East Philippine Sea, extending uh, towards the Micronesian Islands or the Caroline Islands, we have uh, more than 20% of a tropical cyclone formation. It remains slow, so it's not yet sure. And uh, when it comes to the rainfall, it will remain around uh, 65 to more than 80 percent of above average rainfall because of these localized thunderstorms every afternoon or evening and on weekly valid uh, july 17 to july 23 we expect uh, more than 40 percent of a tropical cyclone formation over the west philippine sea and uh, a little bit of the east philippine sea so we will wait and see while the rest of the Western Pacific will remain more than 20% uh, probability of a tropical cycle formation, and the rainfall remains high at uh, 60 to 80% uh, rainfall uh, probability, okay, or above average rainfall because of these uh, localized thunderstorms and the possibility of the southwest monsoon once the uh, uh, once a tropical cyclone develops along these areas, okay? So, that's the latest so far from uh, our update for today. And we will return this weekend to give you more updates on the weather. From Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Padua saying take care always. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, Mike Mr. Typhoon uh, Padua at uh, YouTube. Okay, here, Mr. Typhoon. And also... Uh, 
at our Facebook channel, www.mrtyphoon.com. And uh, thank you so much for watching our channel. God bless to all.